All right, people, I wanted to follow up on a video I did about 45 days ago. And actually, it's exactly 45 days ago. I unboxed and got my first look at this. This is the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 13 Aura Edition. And this one has been fantastic for me the last 45 days. So I thought a follow-up video would be uh, apropos here so we can take a look at what you can expect. Now, still, they only have two SKUs here and they both have the 2.8K OLED display. The only difference right now on Lenovo's website is one has two terabytes of PCIe Gen 5 storage and the other one is one terabyte. I have this one. Uh, with the one terabyte and the speeds on the Gen 5 SSD have been nothing short of spectacular in terms of the reads and writes. So really good. First laptop actually I got into the studio running Gen 5 SSD. So that has been pretty phenomenal. Now, um, having used this for the past 45 days, having used it all around CES, I can tell you a couple of things right off the bat. Performance wise on the Lunar Lake has been very good. I have not seen any slowdown. I have not seen any hiccups in terms of performance, Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, consuming media, everything worked out really well on the X1 Carbon Gen 13. Uh, even though it has less cores, less threads, no hyper-threading than its previous, or its predecessor, I should say, uh, that means you're going to get very good performance, but not at the sacrifice of battery life and not with a lot of fan noise. So using this in real-world usage, battery life has been great. Uh, real-world, 10 to 12 hours easily. I got through a full work day not needing to plug in. So one of the things that Lunar Lake has brought to the table and we've been seeing it consistently throughout the different models that have come through the studio has been great battery life. Now, keep in mind, this does have a 2.8K OLED display. That's gonna require a little bit more power. Obviously, OLED draws more power and it has a high refresh rate, 120 Hertz. So that does take away a little bit. So that's why you're not gonna see 20 plus hours on some of these battery tests, because again, the display is a higher res display than some of the others we looked at. Now, that being said, for an OLED display to get 10 to 12 hours of solid mixed use each day has been pretty phenomenal. Now, the other thing that I noticed here with this, of course, is how light it is. This is also uh, the first time we're getting an X1 Carbon under a kilogram. That used to be, for the X1 Nano that they discontinued. So now this is sort of bringing that lightness to this X1 Carbon line, and that has been pretty phenomenal. Sub one kilogram, and it has been pretty great. Now, the one thing that I will say about the lid here and the carbon uh, of the X1 Carbon is the fact that it does collect fingerprints. You probably can see it here. I did wipe it down though, but you will have to carry a cleaning cloth or maybe put some kind of co cover on it or something. Now, the oleophobic coating has been better throughout the year years, but I will say that it does collect fingerprints in this, uh, well, I forgot what they call it, the carbon black or neutral black, whatever they're calling this color here. Uh, I think it's uh, whatever the color is. <laughs> I can't remember. But anyway, one of the things, of course, is it goes back 180 degrees, so you don't have to worry about getting a viewing angle, minimal screen wobble, and especially on a sub kilogram a laptop here under, uh, again, one kilogram, that means it's less than most laptops in this category, although we just looked at that ZenBook A14, which comes in a little bit lighter than this one, although you won't really won't notice the difference, to be honest with you. Uh, good I.O. on this, of course, we got the two Thunderbolt 4 ports, you got a USB-A, you get your HDMI, another USB-A on the right side, a headphone jack, and a Kensington lock port, so great I.O. Now, of course, this being a ThinkPad, you're going to get that a pretty amazing keyboard here and the keyboard has been nothing short of fantastic especially on a sub one kilogram laptop uh, typing out documents emails and the like has been pretty phenomenal on this it's got a nice multi-stage backlight that's easy to see against these dark keys so you know getting work done in an airplane definitely is doable on this so that has been great for getting work done now as far as the touchpad is concerned i have the standard traditional style diving board style touchpad it does have the physical mouse buttons but they will be offering one with the Sensil haptic touchpad, as I mentioned in my review video, I talked to Sensil. It should already be available in Europe and it will be coming to the US shortly, so stay tuned, that is coming. And again, you won't have the physical mouse buttons, but you will get the haptics in that force pad that Sensil offers on this. So uh, that is an option I would definitely go with once it becomes available. The other option I'm waiting for that I can't wait to get one with it is optional 5G. So this will, of course, have that option that allow you to be connected 
to a mobile network wherever you go. You don't have to worry about a hotspot, the security in that regard. So having the always on secure connection to me is a big win. So that would be another thing I'm looking forward to with the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Um, everything has been very good on this. Again, the display has been great, the 2.8K, 120 hertz, non-touch. There will be more display options later this year from what I understand, so not or you're not limited to the OLED. Hopefully, we'll get those very soon. So for those that need even more battery life, uh, you're going to get it, especially if they go with an IPS. Now, as far as a touch option, I imagine they'll also have one with touch. This is a non-touch, so stay tuned. That may be coming. Again, I have nothing concrete on that, but there are, the, again, like I said, two models right now of this available at Lenovo's website. Again, I'll leave my affiliate links in the description below. That certainly helps out the channel if you do decide to buy through me, but not, of course, required, uh, but it does help support the channel, so I do appreciate it if you do. That being said, I think they're going to offer more models, and that's going to be more choices for you, but this has got to be, if not the top business-focused laptop so far, as we are in the early stages of 2025, and um, there's really no downside here. You're getting the better battery life. Right now, I don't hear any fan noise. We're not doing anything, but in the, in the years past, with Meteor Lake and before that, uh, we heard fan noise when it was just idling, really doing nothing, and you would hear fan noise here. We're not hearing it. The only time you'll hear the fan noise if you're really pushing it under maximum load, and those are some rare instances for this type of laptop. Again, this is thin, light, and portable. This is a great travel laptop that's going to give you the longevity. So 45 days in has been very good. Now, it is an Aura edition, so what is that? Of course, as I mentioned, it's a collaboration between Lenovo and Intel, so they give you a few different options when it comes to that in terms of certain extra features, but the bottom line is I don't find myself using it all that much. The tap to click, as far as the photos using Unison, is nothing specific to this laptop that you can't do on other laptops that are Intel-based, so that is one thing I did notice, but it's handy. You'll be able to transfer your photos and stuff, so that is pretty good. But to be honest, I'm a I very basic in what I'm doing with this, especially for a travel laptop. I'm consuming media on this. I'm typing out documents. I'm well, searching out information, doing research, and this has been nothing short of phenomenal. So one of the best, if not the best laptop so far here as we are in early stages of 2025. But let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Did you pick one up? Are you waiting for other options as far as different SKUs? Let me know in the comment section below. Now I am getting, and it should have been here by now, but it's stuck in customs for whatever reason, I'm trying to work that out, is the ThinkPad X9. Now I have the 14 inch coming and hopefully they'll be sending me the 15 inch. Now the 14 inch I bought as my own personal laptop and that's gonna be running a Sensil haptic touchpad. They call it a ThinkPad, I know it's been bit controversial. Some people think it should have been called the ThinkBook. Some people should have, they think it should have been called something else. It's a very radical change. It won't have the track point. Uh, as you see here, and it won't have some of the other ThinkPad hallmarks. Again, it's an all metal design. This is a little bit different. Obviously, it's gonna be a little bit heavier, but the design to me looked really interesting when I got my hands on with it at CES about three or three weeks or so ago. Uh, I'll have that coming in any day now, so I'm trying to clear that up with customs here in the US. Came all the way from China, so I ordered it from Lenovo's website, but I do anticipate also getting a review unit from Lenovo at some point. Again, I wanted to get this up and running, so we'll be having that X9 review coming very soon, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and again, check out the review of my, uh, my review of the X1 Carbon Gen 13 Aura Edition that I have here. Uh, I think you'll find that I really, really liked it, especially for what it brings to the table. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section below. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.